Here's a bonus chapter from our website Blueprint course. We're going to be taking all of the processes that we've carried out to date and demonstrating how I can implement that in a Squarespace template. So we're carrying on the same fictional company that we've created in the course, and we're now going to output the content prioritization, sitemap, wireframe, and all other factors that went into our brief and bring them across into what will look like a final design. This is not a tutorial saying how to build websites from the ground up in Squarespace. I've got the Squarespace Box of Tricks course available on our own campus and Udemy for that. I'll leave a link for you. Instead, this is showing how we can take the processes that we put together in our blueprint and how it works in real life. So essentially, we're going to reverse engineer the process. Let's take a look. If you want an instant 20% discount from your first monthly or annual Squarespace plan, we have left instructions in the description. It is both quick and easy to claim your discount at any time of the year. Enjoy. Here's our final design that's been created into a Squarespace template. I'll leave a link so you can head over to the store if you'd rather just buy the template at a reasonable price, then you're welcome to do so. But for the rest of you who are interested in how we can take a wireframe that looks like this, across to a final design. Here, we're just gonna break it apart a bit and show how we did it step by step. Let's just have a quick look through the homepage first. As you can see, I've decided on the logo top center, just cause the outline shape of it, this is a fictional company and I just mocked together a quick logo sample in 10, 15 minutes, just to make it look more realistic. We've got the menu on the top left with some drop down options in that menu. We've got our main call to action button, top right hand corner, to show the Highland shop, which would be a physical store for this fictional company. And we've got our shopping basket as well. So that is all added into what we call the masthead. Now the masthead stays consistent regardless of which page we're on. So I've created more pages that tie into the overall theme of the homepage here. And the two areas that remain consistent are our masthead, sometimes called header, and our footer section. So here I believe, I'll double check afterwards, but that makes up the footer section, which again repeats on every page. So if I go back to the home page, next up then we've got a strap line, pretty standard, pretty generic. Then we've got our first summary block. So a summary block feeds information from elsewhere on the site, in this case, the store. So it's feeding the products through. We can even categorize via tag or category to only pull certain products from the store. But here we're pulling everything through. And I've added some dummy products in here on neutral backgrounds just to give them an overall theme. I've actually created a tutorial showing how we can create product images using Canva from different photos, all taken on different backgrounds and making them look consistent like this. If you look at the quick view option for each of them, this is a pop-up window that will allow you to see more information about it in full screen. But likewise, if you click on the image title, something we may look to do is to put a little chevron or arrow here so we know that it's a link. And then that takes us through to the page. Because I'm logged into the admin area, it's asking me for admin related instructions that you wouldn't see if you were viewing the live site. And we can see the product pages are feeding through there. Then we get into our first hero unit. So we've got just one heading. I didn't want to go text heavy because we'd lose it on the background. And the autumn collection is just what we're going for here. So this is our billboard. If we consider a inner city billboard where we're trying to get our message across within seconds and a call to action. So once you see the main message, what next? This achieves that. Also, I've managed to achieve what I wanted to here. If you look back on some of the previous chapters, I said that I wanted a product related overlay on top of it just to break it out of the boxiness of the layouts and offer something a little bit different for Squarespace and more unique. Then we've got an introductory paragraph. I've created a custom horizontal rule here. So that's just a graphic that I've added in to create a custom underline effect. And then we go into our signposting for her, for him. So these are stock photos at the moment. Obviously, that's focusing on the jewelry there, but I might want to just move the focal point of that image up to bring his head into the shot. Then we've got our contact information. I don't believe this was in this section on the wireframe. I think it was in the footer, but I've decided to make that more of a priority. And 
one thing we were going to do is highlight the actual physical store and that's what we've done here and then we can see that these items here i believe is what makes up the footer so that's how everything's fit into place if i go into edit mode we can see the elements so if you're interested in building a website in squarespace we can see that's a text block into summary block this would be a new section which doesn't have a background image in the sense that you would add a background image via the section settings here in fact what i've done is added an image block and then made it so it doesn't go down the full height that allows us to get that unique overlay effect with another image that's been cropped to square overlapping it halfway we then move into the next block which the important thing is here the background colors match in the section colors option here we've got the same color pack option chosen as the section above so we don't end up with a banding line at the bottom of this image which would ruin the effect as i mentioned just an image placed centrally there below the text here again we just added two image blocks instead of adding the section background we've aligned them and snapped them to full width and a title and a call to action button for each as we move then into the contact details we've got a half split map here so that covers the left half we've got an image that covers most of the right and then we've left an empty space here to be able to put our contact information and as we go into the footer section text block newsletter sign up block you can see i've got it actually going a full width underneath that image that might cause problems on mobile devices although this has been tested for those so i could always move that in and i've got two images here just overlapping each other and cropped to a circle frame final section within the footer then we've got that nice contrast between the two so that's it that's how we can take a wireframe and bring it to life in squarespace but if you wanted to use wix editor x wordpress you should be able to achieve that as well okay hope you've enjoyed this little clip catch you next time